Why is this place so important and how have you benefited? It is very important for us because we have got many other days to go. When you come here to pass the time and get benefit from this place. How's it helped you? Well, some people, if we don't understand to fill it up, they help us to fill it up about the doctor benefit or social service. This place is so important for us. We all come together here. We talk all sorts of issues, like Cyprus issue, Turkey, you know, just a normal socializing. And if we need anyone help, we try to, you know, help them, like government-wise or filling the form, you know, and um, even the family problem, you can you can talk about it. And then, you know, we, we just uh, sharing the, um, the problems each other, really. Then we help to each other. Yeah, we come here to share our problem, you know. And if we got some problem, we talk to them, they explain to us, and we share it. I mean, and we like, you know, the place. Like our generation, our children more adapt to this country, you know, more than us because we second, first generation. Now it's okay, you know, with them, but with us it's a big problem. It's only one thing, again, I mean, yeah, you should give more power, power to police because they can't, they, now they swear the police, everything, everywhere you go, the police can't do nothing in this country, you know. I mean, all the best, best thing in the world, the thing is in this country rules, you know. Why is this getting worse now? Okay. Uh, this place here, we have two years and a half we come in here. Every Thursday we come socialize. We talk each other, all the, all the, all, we are like a friends, families. And then any problems with the government, any forms, we come to here, fill it up for us, they're helping us all the way through. So we are happy to be here and socialize with all friends and families. Do you think Britain is a more or less tolerant place than when you first arrived? More tolerant place, yes. Too tolerant to me. Okay. I think there should be some limit. As I say, even if it's me, I do something wrong, straight to my country. And do you feel a part of the UK? Do you feel yeah, included? Yeah, part of the UK. Yeah. Definitely. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a British citizen of over 25 years, you know, of course, uh, like Roman says, if you, are, if, you, if you live in Rome, you have to, you know, act like Rome. So we try to blend as much as we can, but unfortunately, you know, the, the thing is happening in this country, uh, we try to be a good citizen, but on the other hand, you see the, you see the people, you know, coming to this country and destroying the society here, and then... Uh, and then you feel, you know, because they don't know how long uh, even you're living in this country. Because it happened to me, to be honest. I mean, the guy came up to me, he says to me, where are you from? Where are you come from? You're Paki? You know? Are you a terrorist? You know, this kind of thing is happening. So how can I explain to him, look, I've been living in this country before even you were born, you know, and I am a good citizen. I have it all my life. I never been in social security in my life, you know. And uh, uh, these people you cannot explain because as soon as they see you, you are terrorists. And what do you think the government's priority or number one priority should be when it comes to tackling race inequality? Um, on this point, <coughs> my point, more power to the uh, police. And how do you feel? Well, same thing. Giving the education. Education, education, education. More important. All the youngest are on the street. They should, they should you know, uh, uh, introduce more supporting. Uh, they should uh, allow, allow it, you know, to go after the school, you know, to uh, free, free um, uh, lessons or free uh, sporting things. You know, some, some kind of activity. So to take their mind from, the, you know, crime. Doing gathering together instead of thinking, you know, how can we do something, nasty things today to, 
somebody else, somebody, whatever, you know, they can concentrate, you know, with the sport, with the, some kind of good activity like music and things like that, you know, it's a, just, just give them some boost. What do you think, or how do you think, local services could be helping people from the ethnic minority backgrounds more? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as I say, I mean, like, for example, in our community here, you know, more community centre to ethnic minority. We just come here, for example, I can give example from myself. I've been suffering osteoarthritis from my, my neck and my shoulder. I am taking medicine. As well as when I come here, I see the, my good friends here, you know, another therapy to me. We are just talking and, you know, and all sorts of things, you know, you know, just passing the time, you know. It makes it, you happy. Yeah, it makes me happy because at least, you know, it stays from my mind, yeah. Instead of sitting and, you know, thinking, oh, what's happening to me? Oh, this, that, the other. And then just coming here and, you know, having a chat with my friend. All sort of things, maybe sometimes politics, maybe about the life, maybe sometimes even, you know, family problem, you know, and uh, problem solved, problem shared, problem solved, as we say. And how do you gentlemen feel that local services, local government local could help services, you more? Mm. Local services, hospitals, transportation, uh, our uh, Palmyra doctors are helping very much to us. They are very helpful. And do you feel they could help more? They could do something else to help people from backgrounds like yours? They do as much as they can. How do you feel? Well, as you said, it's okay. I mean, sometimes people can speak English, they find them interpreter, you know, doctor, things like the help, they get help, you know. It's good, you know, good uh, things like that. Okay, gentlemen, thanks for sharing your ideas and opinions. Thank you. You're welcome.